Suzanne. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. You know, New Year's is, uh, is a, one of my favorite times, which is you really get to close the books, and I think we all probably want to close the books on 2012, Amen. right? Amen. And we look at the promise and hope and opportunity of 2013. And I know probably many of you have, have made some resolutions, right? I want to be a better husband. Be a better wife. If I want to take off five pounds or trim off a couple inches or go after that promotion at work. Uh, but I've been given some things. I, I want to do all those things except the wife deal, the husband thing I'll, I'll try to take care of. Um, but I want to make some resolutions for our party, for our commonwealth, and for our country. So humor me for a second, see if you agree with these. How about first and foremost that we commit? to actually ending the ridiculous spending that's going on in Richmond and much more so in Washington? All right, how about we stop crippling future generations in piles of debt in bathroom deals in the middle of the night? Can we do that? Can we resolve to do that as a party? Secondly, how about if we resolve to actually have some backbone, right? I'm excited about 2013 because I think you're going to see candidates that actually are unafraid to talk about the culture of life because they've been fighting for the culture of life. There is a reason why we lose and why three million evangelicals sit on the sideline when we're putting up folks who simply aren't comfortable deep in here and it shows on the most important issue of all, life. Okay? Additionally, let's have some backbone for free enterprise. Since when have we allowed the left to make, make it a decent living and heaven forbid turning a profit into a dirty word? So let's show some backbone. And third, and I think most importantly, how about we resolve to protect and defend liberty and the Constitution of the United States. All right? I want to talk about something that I don't think a lot of people are talking about right now. It happened a couple weeks ago. One of the worst tragedies that, that this country's ever faced. First time in my life that I heard the sound of bells at Christmas time, and it made me want to cry versus celebrate. Our side hasn't talked too much. Let's talk about it. The president and the left and the liberal media are asking for a national conversation on gun control, or as they say, safety. I say let's welcome that conversation, OK? Because in Virginia, we actually know something about this because it's Virginians who penned the Bill of Rights. And it needs to be, in 2013, Virginians who defend the Bill of Rights. Safety in our schools and defending the Constitution are not mutually exclusive. It takes leadership. And you may ask, what the heck does this have to do with the lieutenant governorship of the Commonwealth of Virginia? It has to do with leadership. And that's one of many reasons why I'm in this race. Virginia needs to lead in 2013. We can't wait for Washington. We see what happens there. So I know a lot of familiar faces in this room. Some of y'all know me from fighting in the trenches. I know Chris and Suzanne and Tony and, and Mike and so many of you in this room fought so hard over this past year. All right? It was disappointing. Mm -hmm. It was a kick in the gut. And for me, yeah, you know, it's a volunteer job. I poured my heart and soul in it. My wife poured their heart and souls in it, much like Suzanne and Park did. And I, I was devastated. It took me about 10 days until finally my wife kicks me. I'm on the couch. She kicks me and says, hey, buddy, what are you doing? What is your problem? <coughs> And look, Pete, if you really believe that we need more people 
in office that actually know how to create jobs and have created jobs, that actually have private sector experience, that actually know how to sign the front of a paycheck. Get off your tail, and this is your put up and shut up moment, buddy. You think you have solutions to get in the game. And folks, those of you who don't know me, I'm Pete Snyder. I'm an innovator. I'm a on technology entrepreneur. 14 years ago, I had a pretty good paying job, and I'm 26 years old, and I took a risk. And I quit that job because I had an idea that I thought could help revolutionize the way we do marketing and communications. And I started this company out of my one bedroom apartment. And it wasn't easy. In fact, it was brutally hard. And I was even down at one point to my last $100. This is no joke, my last $100. I'd go out on dates with my then girlfriend, now wife, person. She would have to pick up the tab for tacos, okay? I actually had to call my sister and have her Western Union wire me money to a Safeway, 150 bucks, to pay groceries. Her hotshot entrepreneur brother was over a barrel and needed 150 bucks for groceries. They say that Republicans don't know what it's like to suffer and work. I know what it's like. And after a whole lot of praying and a whole lot of hard work, by a lot of people, this company started to take off. And we became the first and eventually the largest social media marketing company in the world, creating hundreds of good paying Virginian jobs, but also really not just starting a company, inspiring an entire industry that's created since hundreds of thousands of jobs around the globe. So that's not just rhetoric. That's not a government program. That is a real record <coughs> on the number one issue facing our entire country and our commonwealth. Getting our economy turned around and creating jobs. Folks, I believe that our party, our commonwealth, and our country needs to have big ideas again. We're not going to win elections or promote a conservative agenda by just pushing mail pieces, okay? We don't win more votes in Hispanic areas by more mail pieces or more robocalls. Folks, it takes big, bold, conservative ideas. Ideas that connect and change lives. And that's why I'm running. I'm an innovator. I wanna make sure that in Virginia, on education, we have transformational education reform. In Virginia, if you look at the laws and examine them on education, it looks as if the teachers' unions wrote them themselves. Teacher tenure, still there. Last in, first out, horrific policies like that, still the rule of the day. How we approach homeschooling, not that great. Our laws on school choice are rated some of the worst in the country. It's as if the teachers' unions wrote them, which is preposterous because in Virginia, we don't even negotiate against teachers' unions. So we need a constitutional amendment to create real change and real choice in education. I'm gonna be pushing for that. We need to make sure that all sectors of the Virginia economy are humming. Up where Susan is and up where I am, economies, as Barack Obama would say, is doing fine. A decent amount of that has to do with Washington. But if you go in different parts of Virginia, you have double-digit unemployment. We need to make sure that Virginia is a haven for entrepreneurs like me and Mike Meredith and so many others of you. And also for some medium and large-sized companies as well. I want to get rid of the corporate business tax, okay? We need to get rid of it. Other states in the southeast are doing it. We must do that to be competitive. Virginia is not going to be number one in business. In fact, we slipped to number three. If we're failing in education and we're not making ourselves attractive for entrepreneurs, small, medium, and large-sized businesses alike. So we need to do that. And lastly, we need to cut the size and scope of government. 
I did a little homework. I don't hop into anything and do the investments. I actually do the do with due diligence. And when I was trying to take a look after the elections, said, am I going to do this or not? I talked to 50, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fibbing. It's, I think it's 48 elected officials. And you know, some cabinet, some agency head, some elected officials. And I said, in your budgets, do you think you can cut 5, 10, 15 percent? 5% without bad an eyelash. 10%, yeah, Pete, you know, we all kind of add a little pad in there. 15%, they got a little hot and bothered. But I want to cut 10% out of the budget overall, okay? If, if we're being asked, if, if Washington's taxing us and we're being asked to tighten our belts, shouldn't we have government do the same? I know we can do that. So, folks, if you want politics as usual, if you want a career politician, I guarantee you I am not your guy at all. But if you want an innovator and a proven job creator, I hope you get to know me. And I hope we can visit a little bit. You can ask any question you want. And I'll leave you with this, because as Susan mentioned, a lot of different candidates in this race, some really good ones too. I want to fight to be your number one without a doubt. But you know what? I met my wife when she was on a date with another dude, okay? So if you have love in your heart for someone else, that's all right. I will wear you down. <laughs>